Ladies and gentlemen, I am very, very tired. I'm running on three hours of sleep and I've been dragged around the whole coast of California all day long. It is now 11.58 p.m., two minutes until tomorrow, and I just got home about 20 to 30 minutes ago. So of course I have to dive right into my work, shoot this so this can go up today, which you are watching now at the right time because I'm very, very serious about my scheduling and all of that fun stuff that comes with doing this. So this is me not letting you down, even though I did want to shoot this tomorrow and put it up on Tuesday, but tomorrow I'll be on a flight back to Georgia and I will be way too jet lagged to do that. So you can thank me later for this awesome, awesome Music Monday. But anyway, welcome to Music Monday, guys. Uh, how are you guys doing? How was your weekend? Tell me about it in the comments down there. I want to know what you guys did this weekend. I went to the beach yesterday. It was pretty uh, awesome. Uh, I really wasn't expecting it to be as windy and as cold as it was, and the water was freezing, but it was so worth it because I haven't been to the ocean since living in Florida two years ago or so, so it was really nice to see. And it was my first time being on the West Coast Ocean, so thank you to who met that made that happen. Much obliged. That's pretty much it. Anyway, let's get into Music Monday, shall we? ACAS, which is what I'm going to refer to them as, even though you already know who it is, the year right there in the title. I've never really been to one of their shows, or I've never listened to their first record with their old vocalist because I just don't care to. But it doesn't mean I'm not a fan. I mean, I've, I've kind of heard the other guy's vocal style, and I'm not really a fan of it. But now they have a new member. Well, not really new. He's been in it for about a year now. Um, a new member, a new vocalist, let's put it that way. My friend Carl Dovin, who you probably saw a picture of in... Friday's video, and uh, he's their new vocalist. He's really, really fucking good. Uh, I met him maybe two years ago at Warp Tour when he and I met through mutual friends in Fear of Faith, and we've been very good friends since. I mean, after that, he actually wasn't in this band, like I said, until last January. He was in an old band called Amora. That band was awesome, too. His vocal styles is just amazing. The guy can sing. He can sing. ACAS, also known as A Long Came of Spider, um, are actually from Cleveland, Ohio. I've never been there, but I've wanted to go multiple times, and I've had a couple shows that I've almost made it to, but something always got in my way. I am so sorry, Carl, I tried. But that doesn't mean I won't be going to any future shows. So let's get right into the Music Monday, shall we? Introduce yourselves, guys. Hi, we're Along Came a Spider. We're from Cleveland, Ohio. Hi-yo. <laughs> Funny guys, right? So far. Now, guys, um, for all the people who don't know you, including me, because I only know one of you, please introduce yourself, give us your name, your age, and what your position in the band is. I'm Tony, I play drums, and I'm 30. My name's Ian. I play bass and I'm 23. I'm Luke, lead guitar, I'm 26. I'm Justin, I play guitar, I'm 24. I'm Carl, I sing, and I'm 25. Kalo, keys, 29. Yay! Now as of right now, we all know that Music Monday is a local showcase for bands that I know, because they're local, and I want to put them out there in a way of interviewing them and for people to get to know them better. So please, tell me which one of you know me and how you came to be on the channel. Uh, I'm the one that knows Andre. We met at World Tour a couple years ago through some mutual friends. I just want to thank you so much for having us on the show, man. Thank you, Andre. Thank you. Now all bands have to start somewhere. When did Along Came a Spider start, and who in the band started it, if there are any original members? The band started in 2009. Uh, me, Ian, and a whole different cast started the band, and then basically over the years, uh, things changed, and what you see before you is the band now known as Along Came a Spider. Now, with a name like Along Came a Spider, only one thing comes to my head. This guy. But I would like to say that's not where the name came from, so please, how did you come up with the name? We came up with the name, basically, we were sitting uh, in the basement and writing a whole bunch of names down, and they were trying to go off a comic book theme because I like Spider-Man. And then, basically, I just saw the James Patterson book sitting there on the table, and it said Along Came a Spider, so I said that, and then it just kind of stuck from there. Sorry, Carl, but uh, I think Justin is a lot cooler than you now. Spider-Man it is. Okay, you guys have the whole little genre-making lineup there. What genre do you guys fall under? Uh, we're, like ghetto, we're like ghetto shred pop. They call us Jedi Metal. <laughs> Jedi Metal, I like that. We'll go with Jedi Metal. Nerd Metal. Nerd Metal, Jedi Metal. Nerd Metal. Never heard of it. So we now know where the band started and who started it. Now give us a brief history about the rest of the band. The band started in 2009. Me and Ian started it. Uh, later down the line, we had about uh, five to six different drummers, and then we got Tony, 
we then added another member, which is Kalo, and then we lost a guitar player, so then we basically added Luke, thanks to Carl, uh, and uh, over the years, it's just been blood, sweat, and member changes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Catch yeah, you. bitch. Working up the name of your new single, Zing. Now you guys have been going for quite a while, which means you've had quite a lot of shows to play. Name a few labeled bands you guys have shared the stage with. Uh, bands that we played with, uh, we played with Chiodos, Story of the Year, uh, Upon a Burning Body, A Plea for Purging, His Blood Runs Black, Haste the Day, Terrible Things. Terrible Things. Terrible right. Things, yeah. yeah. We, played, we played with a lot of labeled bands. All good bands. No complaints. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, Carl is one of my best friends. Distantly, but one of my best friends. So please tell me, why is Carl such a bamf? That's what I want to know. That's a question for me. Bamf, if you don't know, you know, is badass motherfucker. I want to know why Carl is such a bamf. Answer the question. Carl really isn't a badass He's not. He's not, not even, not even He's so vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> so vanilla. Square. Square. Now it is no joke that one of my dreams is to sign to Rise Records. If you had a dream record label to sign to, which label would it be? Uh, basically, our dream label to be on is just a label that's going to help the band grow and you know not not take the band for granted and and try to screw us over you know just to make a, a buck. You know we we want a label that is really interested in the band and you know wants to put in as much as we want to put out. A week without. <laughs> <laughs> a label, a label, label we can grow with doesn't hurt either. That might have been the best answer I've ever heard. I mean, that kind of sounded like it was completely scripted, but still pretty good. Now, one by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, describe your upcoming full length in one word. Honest. Sexy. Structured. Epic. Metal. Aggressive. Band. Band. <laughs> Party. Party. Band. <laughs> now, Carl, I know you, and the local scene in Cleveland knows you. And if they've heard you on any old Amora songs or Blood, Sweat, and Member changes, you kind of have the tone of Resident Ginger, Johnny Gregg. How do you feel about being compared to him? I mean, his reputation is pretty gone down, so I don't know. It maybe you like it or you don't. How do you feel? <laughs> All right, um, there's there's definitely worse voices to be compared to than Johnny Craig's. Uh, Johnny Craig has soaring vocals. He's a good lyricist. Uh, albeit his personal life is a little screwed up. Uh, it's funny how much I get compared. I don't think it's really that similar, um, especially on our new album. Uh, I've tried to mess with a lot of different styles and a lot of different ways to sing, so hopefully I won't be too lumped in with them because, you know, we just want to develop our own sound and, you know, we like to be, we all like to be our own individual person and stuff. But, I mean, there's way worse people to be compared to, so yeah. you know, props to his talent. Thank you. You. Good answer, my friend. Put on the spot, you did good. Good job. Now, how did you handle the recent exit of your guitar player before you got the new one, the one sitting next to Justin? And basically, when our old guitarist left, uh, it kind of put the band uh, at a little bit of a bump in the road. Yeah, a bit um, of a standstill. Yeah, everybody, it kind of slowed down a little bit. And then, for the longest time, uh, I kept telling Carl, asked that one guy you were talking about, which was Luke. Uh, and then, basically, he brought Luke in, uh, and we haven't looked back since. Um, Luke helped out with a lot of the writing. He actually brought in... Uh, a few songs, uh, like uh, we even named a song after uh, basically his ethnicity, which would be a ginger. <laughs> a, day, a, day in the, a day in the life of a ginger. A day in the life of a ginger. He wrote be, the song most of the time. Yeah, so all we did was basically we just we structured a little bit things and changed a little bit things. And, and you know, dealing with the departure of, uh, of Mike, you know, uh, bands moved on. Um, you know, here and there we've talked to him, but. Now we're basically Luke's in the band, and we're gonna move forward with Luke, and yeah. we've never been happier. Day in the life of a ginger, really? <laughs> that is so fucked up. Okay, now I'm stoked, like really, really stoked, because you know, oh, I'm stoked. So uh, I want to know. I'm getting to know. I don't really care if anyone else cares, but I'm getting to know. When can we expect some new material from the new format, which shall go unnamed? In late April, early May. Um, we're working on shooting a music video. I'm not going to drop the name of the single yet because we just kind of want everything to be a surprise. So it's being it's being mixed and mastered as we speak. So hopefully, hopefully in the next couple months, we'll be dropping little hints, little teasers. We have studio updates coming out weekly. Um, so you know, please check our Facebook uh, to see all that stuff. Um, and you know, keep in contact with us. Keep checking back on our stuff because we'll be dropping stuff. You know, as soon as we get it. Rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's too far away. Come on, just give it to me now. 
That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Now, it is no secret what my favorite restaurant of all time is. I'm going to ask this question to every single band. Chipotle, grade 1 to 10. Tread lightly. Chipotle, for me, is about a 12. I'm saying 9.5. So I believe I'm legally obligated to say that it's over a 10. Oh, it's a 10. As long as I have a good supply of uh, Chipotle, then... I'm saying 1. I am not a fan of Ian right now. Carl, on the other hand, works at Chipotle. That's why he's obligated to say it's a 10. Here comes another staple question for every single band I'm going to ask. It's kind of also the most important. How do you feel about the fact that touring bands don't make a lot of money? They live in tour vans more than anything. They still live at home with parents. They barely see loved ones like girlfriends and family. They survive on food like ramen and McDonald's. And etc. When you uh, tour life is kind of like what we're it's better than working wanting to do. That's what we are signed up for. I yeah, mean, absolutely. It's better than doing a day job. Right tour life can suck, especially if you lose all your clothes on day two of a 25-day run. <laughs> but at the same time, would I rather be doing? Would I rather be out on the road playing music? Or would I rather be punching a clock every day? And we don't really awesome. do it for the money either. We kind of do it because we love it. <laughs> and basically, like any any musician out there, any band out there that has um, made it to a point where they do make money off of it, they paid their dues, and it, it's all because they yeah, they right. figured a way to survive on the road, and and that's what we plan on doing is is figuring a way to survive in this in industry, especially with the changing. Uh, and the, probably the decrease in, in money uh, that it's been getting, but it's if it were about the money, then this probably wouldn't be what we're doing right now because we've probably spent more money than we've ever made. <laughs> so. I mean, it, it's, it sucks not seeing your family and stuff as often, but I mean, I consider every single one of these guys in my band my family, so it's really not that bad. Mm. We're, couldn't find a better group of guys to be broke and pissed off with on the road, that's for sure. <laughs> so, Aww. Right. Aww. Oh. Ow! <laughs> we are a <great> bunch for <laughs> Douche. Tour life is what it is. You, you take the good with the bad, but the experiences, obviously, that you have, you stick with you for the rest of your life, and I wouldn't trade that for the world. So. Now, I've recently been made aware of an addition to the family. Justin, I've been told you recently had a daughter. Congrats, by the way, my friend. I want a daughter so badly. Kind of jealous. On that note, how do you guys feel about band members with families? Most of us, most of us, have, almost every single one. Well, I would family. hope that you'd have a family. Well, we all have families. Actually, everyone except for <laughs> Kalo has like a yeah. long-term girlfriend. Justin just had a new baby girl that we're all really stoked. I did. I did. You did. Bro. Now here's a special treat from Along Came the Spider. You guys get to hear one of their new songs exclusively right here. Enjoy. <laughs> So I lied. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> now me, I'm still listening to a lot of It's a Shikari and Let Live. Same as last week, it takes me a long time to get off these bands nuts. What is the one record that all of you are listening to on repeat in your CD players, MP3 players? Well, I just say CD players? What damn year are we in? Anyway, what album are you guys listening to on repeat? I'm actually listening to the new Blessed by a Broken Heart. It's pretty killer. I can't just say one album, but I'm listening to two albums. MC Chris Race Wars and Mumford and Sons. Uh, I'm listening to Every Time I Die, Gutter Phenomena. I'm listening to the new record by uh, Hope's Die Last. To be honest, I've been listening to the new Attack Attack record a lot. I think it's solid. I've been bouncing back, back and forth between Memphis, Mayfire, The Hollow, and of course, uh, In Fear and Faith, Symphonies. Speaking yeah. of that, their, their vocalist, uh, Scott's going to be doing a guest vocal on our song Into the Kill Room on our upcoming record, so you definitely get to check that out. Your secret!
You would just spill some news on my channel? Oh my god. Thank you guys for honoring my channel with telling your fans that Scott's going to be on your new record. He's also a friend of mine and I can't wait to hear it. I really can't. Now I'm still 22 years old and I still watch a lot of cartoons. If each of you could describe yourself as one cartoon character, who would it be? I'm Papa Smurf, man. <laughs> If I were a cartoon character, I'd have to be the 1994 classic series known as The Amazing Spider-Man. Either Donald Duck or Howard the Duck. I would say Howard the Duck. Ooh, Howard the Duck. No, <laughs> hey, no that's Frylock. <laughs> you know the big red guy? The big red guy with the, with the goatee. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be Frylock. Frylock. Carl would be Carl. The fire one swept the juice off. I'd be MCP pants. MCP pants. Yeah, probably yeah. MCP pants. I'd be in the sea bag. Well, <laughs> Spider Man again. Point two for Justin. I have a feeling a lot of you watch a lot of Aqua Tea Hunger Force. Or whatever the hell it's called now. I don't really care. I don't watch it. We're nearing the end, my friends. Here's another question for you guys. What can we expect from Along Came the Spider within the next six months? Well, we're going to, hope, uh, not hopefully, but we're going we're gonna to drop our new album sometime in May. Uh, so you can expect a music video, you can expect a new album, you can expect to see us out touring, playing shows, uh, getting new merch out. You can just expect us to start hitting the road really hard and, uh, and just promoting the crap out of this new album. That's a lot of good news, a lot of good news. I'm really excited. Now, any last words before we depart? Read a book, bitch. Read a book, bitch. You a dumb motherfucker. Read a book, bitch. Drugs <laughs> 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 yeah. Fuck nope. bitches, get money. <laughs> no we'll suffering to like a dick on the fuck a dead end. <laughs> 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 I'm just, a fucking white bitch. Yeah, I'm a fuck a white bitch. Just, uh, just please stop by our Facebook. Check us out. Uh, obviously, make sure to stay tuned for a drop right before all of uh, yeah. Make sure to stay tuned for all of Andre's uh, videos that he puts out weekly. We want to thank him again for having us on the show. That's awesome, man. Thank you so it's much. It's been fun. It's been a good time. Yay. So, thank you. Wait, what's the website? What? It's just on. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Andre. seriously Andre. not know Andre, you can the name drop, drop it, you of the channel? Drop. Put it at the bottom it's of the screen. It's not hard. Yeah, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Andre, Andre something, something, something. URL. Oh, Andre, Andre. Andre. How do you... Uh, uh, Anyway, I had a lot of fun watching that. I thought it was really funny. Don't forget to go check out my friends in Long Came a Spider. It's really not hard to, you know, not a really hard name to forget or remember. Or, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm tired. What's your excuse? But don't forget to go check them out. They have a new record in May. Like Carl said, I'm stoked. You should be stoked too. Don't forget to check out last week's episode of Music Monday featuring Behold the Depths. It was a very interesting episode too. But until Friday, where I see you all again, I love you all. We love sometimes. Laugh off things and you'll live forever. I'm gonna take my ass to bed and get over this fuck that I had to cause today. And uh, 